One of the most useful aspects of electric current is that the charges contain energy. And electrical energy can be very easily converted into other forms of energy, like heat and light and mechanical energy, things that are very useful for us. And the rate at which the energy is converted into these other forms of energy is called power. So let's take a look at the formulas for power. We'll derive some equations for electric power. Um, here's, I think, the easiest way to get into it. Remember what current is, the definition, charge over the time, or charge per second. How much charge is moving through the wire per second. Voltage, by definition, is energy per charge. So we'll start with these two definitions, and look what happens when I multiply the current times the voltage. The current is the charge over time, or the charge per second. And the voltage, energy per charge. And what do you notice? You see that the charge cancels. And the charge then will vanish from the equation. <laughs> and I'm left with energy per second. Well, what is energy per second? That's power. So power our basic equation will be P equals I times V, because I times V will give us what we need, energy per time, or energy per second. So power is IV. Now we're going to use Ohm's law to figure out two other equations. Now you should actually work through this and try this and memorize this sort of derivation. Uh, v is I times R, so let me put IR in for V and I'm left with I times I times R. Well, that's easy. Therefore, my power formula now in terms of current and resistance is I squared R. I have a power formula in terms of I and voltage. I have one now in terms of I and R. And it's uh, derived from Ohm's law being put into that equation. Well, let's do it again. Uh, v is I times R. This time, let's solve for I. And I, in this case, is V over R. And so we'll put in V over R into the equation for power, substituting for I. And what we are left with, then, is P is equal to V over R, we've substituted, times V. And that's easy. That equals V squared over R. And so we have power in terms of the voltage and the resistance. Three power formulas. Now let's just summarize them. And uh, you should, again, work through this on your own from scratch. P is I times V. When you take the definitions and work them through, you see, oh yes, I times V gives you power. And when I substitute from Ohm's law, I can get I squared times R. And I can also get power equals V squared over R. Let me say it again. Uh, work through this from scratch. Memorize the P is IV, and then from Ohm's law, derive these other equations.